Big news, we have signed our first Wonder Kid of the save. He has not joined the team yet, but he should be making his debut in this episode against Rotherham. First up, we're going to have highlights against Blackpool, and we'll take a look at scores, roll the intro, and then we'll be back. Take care of business. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Football Manager 21, our journeyman save. This is Club 3, Leicester City, and Episode 10. After the loss to Stoke in the opener last episode, we beat, we drew with Liverpool 1-1, Eric Graves with his first goal for the club, and then a 3-1 stunning victory over Man City in front of a sold-out King Power Stadium. Graves with a brace and Jordan Mensa added his third goal of the season. So off to a pretty good start. Don't forget, we have daily Football Manager uploads Monday through Saturday. So hit the like button if you like what I'm doing. Subscribe if you're new and hit that notification bell so you get updates whenever a new video posts up on the channel. Taking a look, we are currently in 10th position, four points from three matches. We're not doing badly, not doing badly. Let's jump into the transfers and look at the new guy. Now, I was, I was kind of in a pickle. I wanted to sign this guy, and he accepted. We've delayed the transfer, and I'm not going to be able to afford him. He's a center back. He's not bad. Six foot five. I probably should have signed him because I really need center backs more than anything else. But I couldn't pass on signing a real Wonder Kid. That uh, goalkeeper that I did mention last episode, we have signed him, Redeem Bernat from Fulham for six and a quarter million. Uh, he is an 18 year old Czech capped in their under 21 national side. He was five star potential. Now he's only three and a half. So I think our scouts kind of stink, but uh, he's actually pretty solid. He'll be in the mix moving forward but we put him in our U23s and offered him out for loan. But here is the guy, $26.5 million, 20-year-old Brazilian, capped at the U20, and he's not showing as a wonder kid. I swear he showed as a wonder kid when I scouted him, or when he showed up on my scouts. Ah, oh, now I'm thinking we got robbed. Five-star potential, three-and-a-half star. He's only five foot four, but... 19 passing, 16 technique, work rate, vision, composure, anticipation. Oh my God, he looks good, and he's Brazilian. We know that's a good thing. Valued at 37 and a half million, so we really got him on a bargain. We only paid 18 and three quarter for him up front. The others will come uh, after. I think it's three and a half million after 50 games which I'll be willing to pay at that point and I'll be able to afford. And I think another three and a half million if he scores 20 goals, which if he scores 20 goals, we'll probably be in Champions League and we could afford to pay, pay that anyway. <laughs> All right, so today in uh, the episode, we are going to be playing the Carabao Cup second round match. We're playing Blackpool. Let me go play that. We'll take a look at the highlights and then we'll be back for a home match with Rotherham, and hopefully our new Brazilian star will be in that match making his debut. The Blackpool manager said that the gulf, but the gap between the two squads was not that big. I beg to differ. We get the opening goal from Mikatin there. Of course, playing against lower quality opponents here uh, does make him look good. Day all the way around to the edge of the box. Mikatin heads it down to Romain. He gets another goal, and we take a 2-0 lead there. Mikatin had gotten the opening goal earlier. Mikatin then lays it off for Graves, a beautiful ball. He takes a touch and then goes near post for a goal for him. 3-0 in the 58th minute. 22 shots to 3. 10 on target for us, 62%. Possession and a 3-0 dismantling. 
So that is good. And then he has the audacity to say they're not as good as they think. Uh, Mateus actually did tr make the squad that day. Uh, he came in uh, in the 65th minute. Still looking for some fitness. Seven key passes for Romain. Put his arm around. Number of chances created. Always have to like that. Uh, I'm going to decline to respond. I'm not going to get drawn in. Bielsa doesn't talk a lot of trash at all. And he, you know, he takes ownership most of the time of anything that goes wrong. And then he puts the praise on the players. So I don't think he would ever get involved in a, uh, you know, smack talking contest with another manager. Problem is, now that we've signed Mateus, we're not going to be able to afford the Chinese center back because I've only got three million. Do we have a squad? I'm trying to get to the third round draw, but I, oh, there it is right there. I did want to let you know, I forgot to mention it last episode, but we were, you remember when we were with our second club, uh, Eintracht Frankfurt? Uh, there was a club in the Bundesliga called Gruther Firth. They asked us to come and interview right before the opening match of the season, and we did, we declined it. And then there was another club called Chateau in Ligue 1 in France. They offered us, and that was an appealing job. They were a club I never heard of. Had come up through the ranks. They had a couple of fourth place finishes, but it had been 17 years since they had won anything. If I wasn't, you know, just in my second season here with Leicester, that would have been a club that maybe I would have been tempted to go to. But we're still here, and we draw Brentford. Of course, they beat us last year, uh, stung by the bees. In fact, that episode just went on my channel today. Uh, so, and I record. Typically, I do my recording on the weekends. And I record, you know, about a week at a time. So this will not be seen until next week. We draw Brentford. That's going to be tough. And Robert Cernan overlooked by Czechoslovakia. So be it. Let's get up to the Rothroom game. All right, we're back for Rothroom today. Given his start of the last couple of matches, he's looked pretty solid. So we're going to let him keep going. Kowalski on the right. Felix playing on the left due to some injuries. Uh, Jake rushes out. McNeil, Ramsey in the middle. I really want to play Gerver, but he is still not passing his fitness test, although he is on the bench. Wheel and Mateus in the mid. I've made Mateus a... a a roaming playmaker, and that switched wheel from a deep lying playmaker to a Mazala. Uh, Romain is still the advanced playmaker, inverted winger, and uh, I think Graves, that'll, uh, Mateus, that'll give him license to roam in here. So excited to see what he can do. And Mike Ten and Graves have been in good form. Taking a look at their goal scoring here four goals for Graves, one and four for Mike Ten, uh in that last match. So, but he's been in good form the last two matches. Let's get to it. We are playing pretty well. We are in the blue, raining. Gave up a lot of goals on uh, set piece. Not happy with that. Off the post, and Lewis Durda is there to get the rebound and puts it in less than a minute into the match, and we find ourselves in a 1-0 hole. Well, it was a set piece. That did not stand as in good stead. I'm going to drop back to positive. And we are going to drop a spot of encouragement on him. Pay us with a shot there. There he is, patrolling the midfield. Benza. There's Mateus. What a ball through. Oh, and taken down hard in the box. No foul called. That was disappointing. Main headed out. Felix makes the run back up into the attack zone. And at the back post, and it's Mikatin. 
but he's off sides. Oh my goodness. Yep, the flag's up by the lot side judge. VAR is going to double check, and they do call an offside. Disappointing. Boy, he was just a step. Hoping Mullen might have kept him on, but did not. Have to do better there. Kowalski. At least we're, we're seeing a lot of... Uh, a lot of highlights here. Oh, Romain. Atondo knocks it out of play. Yes! <laughs> the fans are going crazy in this. Wheel. Oh, and Mikeaton. How did he not slot that one home? He was wide open at the six-yard line. We're playing well. You're just not getting the breaks. I have to demand more here, I think. Romain well, picked up an injury, it looks like. I didn't see anything pop up. Oh, uh, look at that ball to Francis Asante, his first goal of the season. Let's check out what's wrong with Romain. Potential thigh injury. All right, we're going to have to pull him. Put Mikeaton out there. Main, let's bring Sternan on. And then Mikeaton. I have to play him as an inside forward. Oh, 2 0 hole, though. That does not, uh, not looking good. That gets us to halftime. It's been pretty. I mean, you know, we've looked the better side. Except on the highlights. But that's what counts, right? <laughs> hey, Cat, How you doing? I mean, we've got the better XG. They've got four to two on target. I guess unpausing the game would go a long way. Man City beating Stoke. Now, one thing Mateus cannot do, he is not, he can't mark very well. He's more an offensive player. That, we do lose a little bit defensively in the midfield with him in there. You know, the hope is that he makes up for it. Given is just looking horrible to. Go back up to attacking. And it's three to nothing. Eikenton had that ball, that one goal called back. And more. 60th minute. There's Mateus. Finds Menza. Cuts inside. Takes a crack from range. Easy enough save. All right, let's go ahead and make a sub or two. Kowalski's not playing well. Let's bring Dean Clark on. Brave's not playing well today, but I really can't afford to pull him off. Agami, we'll bring him in for wheel. That gives us two really spectacular passers in the mid right now. Hopefully they can find something going on. Uh, demand more. A whole lot going on. And no highlights here, man. All right, Mensa. Bring on Henson's out there. Oh, I'm out of subs. Oh, that's right. I made that injury sub for Romain early in the game. Got about that. Got about that. Mateus playing a 6-6. That was just a complete dismantling. We had 16 shots. Rothram only had 9. We had the better XG. We just couldn't make it count, could we? I mean, they were 3 nothing up, and we had the better XG the whole time. Crazy. Uh, I'm going to point the finger. Happy with your... 
performance. They seem motivated. <sighs> that drops us to 15th. Not a good day. Remains out for one to three days. And we've only got a couple of days left in the transfer window. I'm not expecting any more moves to take place. Uh, I'm not even sure that we're going to be able to bring in. In fact, I know we're not going to be able to bring in that Chinese center back. I would like to maybe bring him in, but the only way that's going to happen is if we get offer. We've got a few guys that people are looking at. Robert Cernan is wanted by uh, AC Milan. And honestly, if they came in with uh, any, you know, anywhere around 30 million, I'd probably take it. Santos is, you know, they're both foreign. Uh, Santos is a year younger, equal on talent, 200, you know, 160,000 less salary, and he's valued at 14 million more. So arguably would be the better choice between the two, even as prolific as Cernan has been. Two seasons in a row for us, 30 and 39 last year. He was, ugh. He just hasn't gotten off the mark here. I don't know that he's going to get the chance. Just don't see, I don't see keeping Graves out of the side. And honestly, I just think Mike attends a little bit better. I think maybe we, you know, if he doesn't move, we're going to give him plenty of opportunities, right? So, all right, guys, we'll hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And don't forget daily football manager content Monday through Saturday. And we will come back. Not in a big hurry here. Why don't we come back for maybe Burnley highlights? Let's come back for the end of October. Get a good run under our belt. Uh, West Ham highlights. Bristol City on the match. So that's going to be next episode. We'll see you for that. Take care, guys. Bye.